do that as my perspective as I grew up in a time uh, before what we call the Waldheim area when Austria was uh, only recognized as the first victim of uh, the Deutsche Reich and how um, crucial the events around the discussion of the role of uh, former president Waldheim was and that we that the sort of perspective on post-war is an ongoing and it's constantly in flux. So even recently now we look new at the first documenta exhibition section in Kassel and the involvement of the curators in World War II or in the um, German Reich. And I see it as a, as a, a multiplicity of, of narratives we're telling here from a global perspective, so we overcame the Eurocentric and Western perspective. So we have people from Cairo, from Eastern Europe, we have uh, people in exile, exile outside of Europe, but also people coming back to Europe even from other countries. So I, I think it's an ongoing investigation we are undertaking here. Your special features deal with experimental film and dance of the post-war period. Yes, I think this was important for me as a curator and museum person to cover uh, sort of uh, 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 an idea or a notion of uh, post-war art which um, goes beyond the genres and disciplines usually presented in art fairs which are object-based by nature. So we have here time and body related art like uh, as you said experimental film and choreography and dance and we have basically uh, two festivals sitting within the fair on three screens, if you want. And here also Austria played a special role because Austria was sort of one of the foremost um, or, uh, in the 30s uh, uh, in dance, in uh, what we call the Deutsche Ausdruckstanz. And it was kind of contaminated and a lot of people went to exile, some just continued the same. So Austria could not continue to the neon avant-garde, what happened for instance in the United States with Cage, Cunningham, Rauschenberg, and Hell Prince Simone Forte and many others. While in Germany it was slightly different, they developed something what they called uh, Deutsche, Deutsches Tanztheater, which we're also presenting here tomorrow. So what I'm, I'm trying to do with these uh, special features to complement the individual uh, presentations in the gallery booth by artists and works which can't be present as such in such a presentation.